the channel that you choose. We're coming back to YouTube. Make sure you turn on the notifications. Stay to the very end so you can find out how you can be qualified to win an Xbox or PlayStation. The real details is at the end waiting. Check this out real quick. It's your favorite look, especially after I spoke. Support the real again. Get rid of the fake, the F you to the industry. How do you fight back? It's simple. All you got to do is just press subscribe, then join the movement over there on Instagram at C-E-D-D-Y-N-A-S-H. One word. That's for you and I can stay in contact. Plus, I'm going to like your pictures and all that. We have 75,000, so we done maxed. But when I can, I'm going to follow you back. To the crew, that's the truth. Real with the visionaries. Let's get into it. Yeah, that's Cap. A couple artists did. I, I couldn't get them all, but I figured give Boosie and the baby the promo for posting it because they did. And it is what it is. See, the, the narrative that y'all want is y'all really want cats like Drake, Lil Wayne, Kanye West, possibly. Y'all want the bigger names like Jay-Z, 50 Cent, and I don't know, whatever major mainstream artist y'all can think of. That's really what y'all want to say. That's really what y'all want to say. But y'all ain't got the balls to really say it. I'll say it since you ain't got the pinche huevos. Pendejo. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, shout out to Boosie. I'm going to give him his promo right now. He just dropped his movie, and I said what I said. I said no what I said. Y'all had the cast that got mad at people going to the BMF premiere that was in Atlanta where BMF had the most shine over a Louisiana nigga. Like, <laughs> just, I just, I don't, I don't understand that, bro. And especially with the, the history of, that the red stick got versus Atlanta in specific with the, I believe it's the, the, the mayor of Louisiana stole Atlanta's wife or girlfriend or some shit. Like, like that's, this is a true story. It's crazy as hell that I know this, but there's actually, I, mean, I don't know if it's the mythos or anything like that, but I could have sworn there's a story of Either the mayor or the governor of Louisiana taking the governor or mayor of Georgia or Atlanta wife and taking her back to the boot. But that's a whole nother story and everything like that. I just taught y'all something. But let me say this, right? This ain't going to be no long ass goddamn video. The industry was blackballing and be a young boy but now and I, I didn't make the video because it was i was suspended when it happened so i didn't think of rehashing old shit but if y'all want to in the comments let me know about some old stuff that happened last week when my damn channel was suspended and i'll, I'll speak on it. i just thought y'all wasn't interested but what i would have told y'all was nba young boy had to sign that motown deal because there are certain things in which you're going to have to do in order to elevate you because there's monies that you don't have access to. See, if the industry tells young boy, we want to do a, what is it called? A feature. Now they got to holler at Motown. And Motown going to charge them like 200000 or 100000 for an NBA young boy feature. With this being his true debut album going number one, I don't know the intricacies of his deal with them, but for him under their label to drop a number one album while being behind bars and everything like that, that right there is seismic. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. The reason why it's seismic is because who gave him his start? That's nobody. Y'all can point out Boosie, y'all can point out Kevin Gates, you know what I'm saying, y'all can point out those individuals, but that's that's not their that's not their person that they really put on so with that being said it's a lot of hatred towards him because he ain't kissing ass now say what you want to say about you know, him and 
whatever he got going against Lil Durk and all that and everything like that. Lil Durk ain't on no goddamn NBA young boys level. Young boy been snuffed out of a lot of awards and a lot of placements because of that. Now, Lil Durk is going on a hell of a run. This is his best run ever. Shout out to him. Y'all know it ain't no static. It ain't no hate towards young boy Lil Durk. But this is why you had to play, unfortunately, play the game the right way. I wish, I wish he would have signed to a matter of fact. Let me do this. Let me do this live, right? The cat's already on my necklace right now, but what I said. <laughs> Uh, there's a cat on their name. I don't even know, cuz. I ain't never heard of him. Called It's Biscuit. Talking about wow. <laughs> Over, he got almost 700,000 freaking subscribers. I mean, followers on IG. This nut ass nigga gonna say big facts. Wow. Like, bruh. You got that many people and you ain't even post NBA young boy shit, but you gonna call it big facts. I'm not capping. Look at this shit. So I called him out on it. I said, not even you, but the baby did, you know. But either way, either way, either way, either way. <laughs> either way that go. Let me see this. Who owns Motown Records? Barry Gordy. That's what's up then. Alright. Well, at least you signed to a black label. I can I could do that. Barry Gordy Jr. Alright, so shout out to Young Boy, bro. I, I might cop that. I might actually buy the album just because of that. I might buy the album because of that, bro. Capital Music Group, aka Motown Records. Or is the Capital Music Group? Hmm. But either way, yeah, hold on, hold on. Who is NBA Young Boy signed to? It's saying he ain't signed to Motown at all. <laughs> hold on. I might have just. <laughs> I might have just tasked him with something he ain't even did, thug. I thought Cuz was with it, but it's still saying Atlantic. I don't know. I think Atlantic has the. Nah, it got to be Motown. Either way, they go. 21 years old. Yeah. There we go. Motown and Youngboy. There we go. All right. Yeah. So, boom. There we go. I, I had to get confirmation. But. Shout out, man. That's dope. I'm I'm going to consider buying it. I'm going to listen to it on... I only heard like two songs because I've been busy writing my own shit. Or Nailing Chindrick drops next Friday. But, yeah. All right, man. Catch you on the next one. Y'all expect me to keep it real? Because you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. Check out the Nightly Nash podcast. Also, Street the Music Study Nash, if you have not. It's on all streaming platforms. Guaranteed you're going to find something you like. Probably like that overly thugging freestyle. Or maybe something different. Let me know in the comments. We possibly shoot that music video. Oh, you want to learn how to win that free Xbox or PlayStation and concert tickets? Or just a gift card in general? Simple. Be an active subscriber. What does that mean? The more you like, the more you comment, the more you share these videos, the higher your chances are increased to win. Simple. We're going to give away that specific item that you choose at 60,000 subscribers. That's six zero. Make sure, make sure you increase your chances to win. This is free to y'all. It's only costing me. And I'm going to personally deliver it to you. How you like the sound of that? Cool? Catch you at the next video. Check out the previous videos too.